Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a lamb bowl. Now um, when I'm thinking of this lamb bowl, I'm thinking of this restaurant called Kava. I'm not sure if you have it in your area, but it's kind of like a chipotle where you kind of go down the aisle and you pick your meat and your rice and just different things that you want to add into your dish, into the bowl. Um, think of it as like a deconstructed burrito or something like that. I'm going to have a little cameo here a little later, my little munchkin. Um, who loves to cook with me. She's going to join me to help me make the naan, but after that she's going to have to go to bed. I'm going to show you how to make the lamb mixture, how to make tzatziki, as well as the naan bread. So stick around and see how we do it. For our naan bread, we're going to use four and one half cups of bread flour. Then we're going to need one cup of warm water, um, an entire package of the activated yeast, one fourth cup of butter. And again, I love my butter sticks because as you can see, it has the little measurements here. So it tells me exactly how much one fourth cup is. You can see that? Isn't that cool? One fourth cup. <laughs> then I'm going to need two teaspoons of salt, three tablespoons of milk, one fourth cup of sugar, and one beaten egg. I only got one. Casualty of cooking, it's all good. <laughs> it cleans up nicely. There's one in there. That's okay. We won't tell everybody that there's a shell in there, okay? <laughs> All right, so go ahead and mix it. So you're gonna feed it. That means like this, when I was looking at mixing it up. Okay, so in a large bowl, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take our activated yeast. I'll tear it open for you. Okay. So I need you to pour the yeast in there. In the bowl for me. Get it all in there. Ooh, looks like little sprinkles, but I can't eat it. No, we're not, well, we'll eat it later. It'll be in the in the bread, All right? Then we're gonna pour our water, warm water, into the bowl. All right. Ooh. So the goal here is to let it dissolve. So we're gonna let it sit about ten minutes in here. Uh, yep, yeah, you can mix it up a little bit. So now we let it sit for about 10 minutes and now you can see that yeast is nice and frothy there, right? Okay. So at this point, we're going to stir in our sugar, okay, our milk, eggs, this is the eggs. I stirred the eggs if you already saw. That's right. All right. Let's put that over here. Now let's mix this up just quickly. We're going to start with one cup of flour. Very good. Level it off. <laughs> Very good. You got it? Mm -hmm. He's all in the way. Oops. Very good. Okay. That was a big size. Mix it up a little bit. Let me do it. Yep. Get that nice and mixed up. It's going to look like ice cream a little. Mm hmm. It calls for four and a half cups of flour. Whoa. Right. Level that off and then put in more flour. Mix that up. I think. And while can you're, I while you're do doing that, well, yes, of course. While you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead four and add in the others? salt. Because I didn't want to add in the salt a while ago because I did not want it to interfere with my yeast. Okay. So do one more cup while I stir this in. Hello. Very good at this, Jess. How many cups is this? Does that make it three cups? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and pour it in. There we go. It called for four and a half cups, but we're going to go ahead and just go with four for now. So get it all mixed up in there. Okay. Ooh. 
This is the main reason why I had this little one come in and help. <laughs> then it would be lots of fun. Be careful though, okay? Okay. Okay, so as I'm getting it all mixed up, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm pushing. I'm rolling it and pushing or folding it and pushing. As I can still feel parts of squishiness and wetness. So we're gonna keep Keep getting that flour all mixed in. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. And you're gonna to continue to pull away from yourself and then bring it back in. Pull away, bring it in. Put it back. I think we. I'm gonna add some more flour to it. Just keep rolling. Once you get it rolled into a nice, perfect little ball, we're going to go ahead and put it into our bowl. And we're going to wrap it and let it rise for about an hour. So while we let that rise, we're going to work on our lamb. For the lamb recipe, set your stovetop temperature to medium-high heat. You'll start off by taking your 1 4th cup of finely diced onions and one tablespoon of olive oil. Then you're gonna mix in your one pound of ground lamb. Continue to break up the lamb and mix in the onions. Once the lamb is nice and brown, you're gonna add in one fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. I didn't have paprika, so I just mixed in a little bit of allspice and chili powder together. About a teaspoon's worth, if not a little more. And finally, sprinkle in about a teaspoon or so of cumin. If you like a little heat, feel free to add in about a half of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Give that a good mix for about a minute or so. Add in about four cloves of minced garlic and one fourth cup of freshly chopped mint and one fourth cup of parsley. Set that aside and then we're gonna go back to our naan bread to give it a second rise. I'm gonna take the saran wrap off and go ahead and just punch it down, punch all the air out of it. And let it get nice and uh, flattened out, push all that air out of it. It should be nice and soft and pliable. So as you're doing that, you're just gonna squeeze off a little piece about the size of a golf ball and you're going to roll it into a ball. And you're going to strategically place them on the plate. Cover them with saran wrap again and then let them rise for another 30 minutes. For the tzatziki, you're going to need two cups of grated cucumbers. Once you're done grating your cucumber, you'll take handfuls of them and squeeze all of the juice off or as much as you can. Add that to about one and a half to two cups of plain Greek yogurt. Mix it all together. Then you'll add in about one tablespoon of lemon juice. Get that nice and mixed up. Add in about two tablespoons of freshly chopped mint or dill. I did both. The flavor combination works very well together. Then you'll add in one medium minced garlic clove. Give it another mix and add in your sea salt about a half of a tablespoon will do. Once you've done all that, you're gonna to top it off with about two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Wrap it up and put it in the fridge and set it aside while we finish making the rest of our naan bread. Now that we've got the second rise on our naan, I'm gonna go ahead and roll them out. Be sure to preheat your pan while you're at it. While you're making your little pieces of naan. Go away from the bread, rolling outward in each section. That way it'll stay nice and flat. I like to, I've uh, been taught the method of putting a little bit of water on it so that it'll stick nicely. The whole purpose of when you're cooking naan bread is to ensure 
that it stays as flat as possible on the pan. You really can't, the temptation is to try to lift it to see how it's cooking, but you really shouldn't, you should just let it sit. But one cool thing is you can see the little bubbles popping up. So that's a good sign that we're getting some action going. So I'd leave it there for a good five minutes or so. When you start to see it lifting up like that and getting nice and bubbly, go ahead and brush or brush the top side with butter. And that's a perfect piece of non bread. If you feel so inclined, once you're done cooking the non bread, while it's still warm, go ahead and brush a little bit more butter on it. Top it with parsley, get a shallow bowl, spoon out the lamb, add the non bread, some tomatoes, a bit of hummus, cucumbers, feta cheese, and turmeric rice. Basically, all I did with the turmeric rice was to make a bit of jasmine rice, sprinkle in some salt and turmeric, and a little bit of olive oil, and mix it up, and there you have it. It's a fairly easy dish to execute, as you can see. You can do one part yourself, and you can buy your naan bread, and buy the tzatziki if you'd like, or you can make all the elements like I did. It's completely up to you. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, and give me a comment, let me know what you thought. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be made aware of all of my future videos. Thank you for joining me. And again, here's wishing you good eats and happy gardening.